What is the most believable conspiracy theory? We are being goaded into waging culture wars that don't matter to keep us from waging class wars. Is this a conspiracy theory though? It would be if you assume it was engineered from the start, but this would also make it very unbelievable. But that existing conflicts had been fueled and taken advantage of by people in the position to for millennia is well evident I'd say. Yep, defining it as conspiracy theory makes it seem like someone is actively managing and controlling us. The much more frightening reality is that we're just too uneducated to realize this in a capacity to actually stop and divert our attention to more relevant matters. And, yes, upper class, politicians are taking advantage of this phenomenon, not orchestrating it. Yep, divide and rule. First separate the sexes, male superior, woman obey man, half population already under control. Then define the male role, all other definitions are against the norm. Then the races, white superiority, other races subservient. Then religion, there is only one true God and religion, all others are subservient. Then must obey your religious leaders, to do otherwise is unpatriotic and against God. Then hierarchy of religious leaders, until there can be only one. Works a bit like the older churches and communism with their village Soviets. That computer viruses are made by antivirus companies to test their antivirus software. I mean McAfee launched his whole little empire on a lie about a virus, so this at least has some history grounded in fact. Parents bought a new computer recently, the McAfee stuff was in there pretty deep to remove. The stuff bogged it down, way faster afterwards. McAfee is a malware itself at this point. That the CIA posts questions like this on Reddit to measure their past and current work, brainstorm for future projects. No we don't, stop spreading rumors. That one dude at the CIA making new accounts every day just to ask this question. One of my friends used to work at the CIA, his job was to click the mark as NSFW button on all of the upcoming posts to drum up engagement. Disney created Frozen so when people googled it would be about the movie instead of Walt Disney being cryogenically frozen. Love it, D maybe they didn't make it for this very purpose, but just named it that way. Hi, I work with cryogenic storage for a drug company. Even if Disney's body slash head were cryogenically frozen after a certain point, considering where tech around it today is, there's a lot damage caused by freezing cells for an extended period of time. An extended period of time being more than one year. Not to mention that freezing cells to minus 150 degrees Celsius to minus 196 degrees Celsius, industry standard LN2 storage, causes crystallization of the water in the cells, which basically tears cells apart from inside. This effect can be neutralized by a variety of chemicals when added to cells. However, these chemicals are toxic to the cells and cause cell death in their own way. The point I'm making is that there is a viable window for reviving cells and for Disney, that time has long since passed. I'm sure someone will point to some emerging tech that could prevent some of or all of these things. However, you'd need to start with healthy cells which, at this point, Disney wouldn't have. TL, DR, current tech doesn't prevent cell death so Disney's frozen anything would only result in a gross mess once thought. That's exactly what the Disney sickle would want us to think. Mattress firm is a front for laundering money. There is no other reason for there to be so many. No one is ever even in there. Planet Money did an episode on this. Erk, the economics of mattress stores are kinda weird since mattresses are relatively pricey it only takes a few sales to cover the costs of a store. Double down on this one. I have a mattress firm next to my job and I have never seen anyone in there ever. It's been 6 years. Sounds like a great place to work. Knew the guy for 30 years, never said a word. Best friend I ever had. The Kardashians keep Rob, their brother, overweight so they can harvest his fat for their BBLs. Can you pay for your British broadcasting license with human fat? Um, this is probably the only mention of them that made me smile lol. Epstein didn't kill himself. Nobody considers the fact that he could easily still be alive. In Australia, high-profile underworld figure Carl Williams was murdered by his cellmate in the prison gym. Authorities were aware that his cellmate was a threat to him before placing them together. If it can happen there, I don't think it's beyond the realm of possibility that it could have happened to Epstein. I'm sure there were plenty of people who didn't want him opening his mouth about anything. A report from the Victorian ombudsman about William's death. Getting what Carl knew on public record would have been fantastic, but obviously not the worst result that he ended up suffering a reasonably brutal death. Those climate protesters that glue themselves to the road are hired by oil giants to make climate activists look stupid. Also same with PETA. 
I feel this way about a lot of extremist groups on both sides, that there are plants from the other side doing really stupid stuff just to discredit the idea. This is a classic counterintelligence move. Disrupt, discredit, and destroy the organization by feeding them bad intelligence that leads them to make bad moves. Preferably you want to turn them against their allies or potential allies like what the FBI did with Noi. I have a conspiracy theory about conspiracy theories. I believe the governments and leaders of the world are actually rather incompetent, so much so, that they require the illusion of them being an ominous all-powerful all-seeing entity in order to remain in power. And to accomplish this they allow conspiracy theories like the Illuminati and etc. to spread around to add a bit of urban myth to how powerful they are. It's probably all a bunch of garbage Europe can barely communicate within itself you expect there to be some secret global order? Oh stop it ha! Your conspiracy theory is an episode of South Park from 2006 called Mystery of the Urinal Deuce. In the episode, the Bush administration admits to exactly what you described. I got a raging clue. I am 100% convinced this is just clearly true. In general, every true conspiracy is more complicated and multifaceted than people can really comprehend. Incompetence, control, coincidence, too many factors to fully break down spanning hundreds or even thousands of years contribute to everything big enough to affect the world. There's just no goddamn way the governments and leaders are as smart and cunning and organized as most theories would require them to be. We are dumbing down our public education system by passing every kid regardless of their ability so that the wealthy elite can gain more control of the system via private education and ensuring that enough dumb poor kids are paying college tuitions for useless topics that they will never complete and or use in the real world. When private school kids graduate they are miles ahead of every publicly educated kid and we are essentially building a system that keeps struggling students that were never prepared in debt to fund the wealthy to just take more power. In the past it was done under the guise of leave no child behind now it is under the guise of equity because testing is racism. I used to teach history and American government at a public high school and I quit during the pandemic, now I just do guest lectures at a private prep school and it is so different it is disturbing. Example. Public high school. The first assignment I had for incoming seniors was to write an essay explaining how a bill becomes a law. Out of 30 students, I would probably get 18 that actually turned it in and with any luck three of them were correct. Private prep school, the kids in the school are setting up mock congresses and assigning students to positions and having them write bills, forming committees, voting on bills etc. I went from actually having moments of tears and frustration of dealing with just painfully ignorant students to having students that have these in-depth conversations about the nuances of decorum and congressional practices. As conspiracy, this also mirrors setting up a biological underclass. People with a subpar education, minimal health care, have little reproductive rights, and an unhealthy diet. This bio underclass thus has a shorter life expectancy but high reproduction rate, resulting in a population that is expendable. Add the educational limits especially in the area of critical thinking and you have a mass population that is controlled by their belief in authority. Wrong post mate, this is for conspiracy theories. COVID-19 was accidentally leaked from a lab in Wuhan, China that was doing research on how to make viruses more lethal slash spread quicker. Mind you, it might not be as bad as it sounds. Examining how to make a virus more deadly is not commonplace but an accepted practice to try and find ways to deal with more deadly ones and find treatments for if one naturally pops up. Know thy enemy and such. Better yet, remember what was happening in China when COVID started? Massive protests against the government and a lot of pushback to human rights issues from people outside China with how the Chinese government was dealing with protests. It's not a leap of the imagination that a virus from the nearby lab could be used to quickly end these protests. Now we can make gatherings illegal and be doing the right thing. I don't believe this because there isn't enough evidence yet, but I wouldn't be surprised to learn it in a decade when it comes out. There's definitely more to JFK's assassination than the Warren Commission made it out to be. Whether or not LHO was the sole killer. I find it fishy that the CIA was so desperate to hide information from the public. I think the theory that a secret service agent accidentally killed him is the most believable. That's the one I subscribe to. There's just no way to admit that the killing blow to your sitting president was from his own security and not lose face. I'm pretty sure his head just did that by itself. That the only reason that the US government doesn't do anything with student debt loans are because then people would stop signing up for the army. Wasn't there a politician who went on Twitter and straight up said cancelling student loan debt will do exactly this? That would be better than the reality. Money. The companies make so much money off student debt and they easily influence the government with all that money. That rocks are soft and squishy and only tense up when you touch them. Rocks are basically water and coneflower. 
The scientists would kill you if they were on Reddit. Carrot slash S. Pretty sure the CIA has been gradually exterminating the Kennedys for a few decades now, at least the ones that go into politics. Why I was like, what a brave guy when I saw RFK was running for president. Considering he's anti-vax and pro-Russia I'm sure he'll be just fine as a republic I mean a democrat. Except for RFK Jr. they know he's incompetent so they leave him alone. The Great Cheese Conspiracy Each year the US government buys more and more milk to make more and more cheese. The US government is sitting on something like 2 billion pounds of cheese, just to artificially inflate milk prices. Not even a conspiracy, just an example of the government controlling the economy in favor of dairy farmers. As a free market economy clearly calls for, slash s. I'm pretty sure that's just true, like documented and accepted as true. That Lee Michelle can't read. Oh my god this is fucking hilarious lol I just looked this up. What? I didn't know that was a thing lol. The lost cosmonauts theory, that Yuri Gagarin wasn't the first man in space, just the first one to come back alive. When compared to the idea that the moon landing was faked, it's immediately more plausible. Rather than manufacturing mankind's greatest achievement, it's just covering up a failure. Every government that's ever existed has covered up failures. And the Soviets were in a much better position to cover up a big failure like a space mission gone wrong. Their space program was physically isolated and tightly controlled. And their leadership was very adept at erasing inconvenient people. And it turns out several cosmonauts had been erased from the Soviet space program. As decades from Gagarin's mission passed, more information came out, photos taken from the wrong drawer and published in Pravda, showing unaltered photos with more cosmonauts in them than the official photos from the 1950s and 60s. The theory started to grow that those erased cosmonauts had gone into space before Gagarin and died. However, in the 1990s when archives in Russia and Kazakhstan were largely open, journalists went to investigate this theory, and were able to research the lives of these lost cosmonauts. They were also able to interview their families and establish their lives before and after their careers as cosmonauts, and were able to find that they each had been dismissed from the program for drunkenness or other misconduct. So it's been debunked through diligent research, but still way, way more plausible than filming the moon landing in a studio. Greater than that Yuri Gagarin wasn't the first man in space, just the first one to come back alive. Very possible, that wouldn't be so strange. I recommend looking up the Judica Cordelia brothers. They have an interesting story. There was a mixed-blood Filipino named Dr. Jose Rizal. He was an intellectual and a polymath. He traveled the world from Japan to Europe to the US. He has been to so many places, he has over 22 statues all over the world. He wrote the books Noli Mi Tangere and El Filibusterismo which inspired the Filipino people to revolt against the Spanish Empire. He is Adolf Hitler's absent father. I'm interested in this. What makes this a believable theory? Removed. I will explain more. Revolutionaries shouted his name with pride and reverence. They sung him praises for his courage to call out to the people through his writings. Well, the Spanish weren't deaf. They arrested him and shot him as a traitor. He was to be executed via firing squad, shot from his back in Bagmayan. At the last moment just before he had fallen, he turned his back to face his executioners, refusing to die with his face on the ground. He spent his last moment in defiance of the totalitarian empire he had criticized. He had spent his last moment looking at his countrymen eye to eye for his life was not ended that day by the bullet of a Spaniard but by those of his Filipino countrymen under the orders of the Spanish. This does not support the theory that he is Hitler's father. I am merely spreading awareness for the heroism of this great man. Long live Jose Rizal. You are remembered. Richard Nixon was actually a sperm whale, and sent to infiltrate the Campbell's Soup Company by the Croatians. But this one has been verified. Glad someone believes me. Jeffrey Epstein went to his grave with this knowledge. Chihuahuas are actually rats bred to be pseudo-dogs. They were, in part, bred to be sacrificed. Also eaten. My nickname for my chihuahua is Rat Lowell. Martin Luther King Jr. was murdered by the FBI. J. Edgar Hoover literally sent a letter to MLK saying that if he didn't shut up that he'd kill him. He proceeded to not shut up. This. Then they put it in an episode of The X-Files, Musings of a Cigarette Smoking Man, to make it seem more like a hoax. Wendigoon made a pretty interesting video on the MLK assassination conspiracy on YouTube. Would recommend. We never actually cure anything because there's more money in treatments and managing symptoms. Same thing you actually do see with manufactured shit. Make stuff cheap and build in planned obsolescence. 
That way you always have return customers. Less money to be made from one and done. Planned obsolescence is in almost everything we use. A small part is designed to wear out so the whole product needs replaced. I knew a guy who fixed TVs in Mexico and said it was almost always the same couple parts needing replaced. Where does that put dentists who tell you to brush and floss and doing so actually keeps your teeth from rotting but nets them less business as a result? I'd, but how come dentists don't just sell that brush on fluoride tooth mask stuff? Most people born from 1930 to 1970 have some form of lead poisoning, explaining why our leaders and their voters make such nonsensical choices. The last two UK prime ministers were born after 1970. It doesn't seem to have helped. Multiple gunmen in Dallas on November 22, 1963. Book depository, grassy knoll, and street level, triangulation of fire, a turkey shoot. Of course that's true. We all know that a group of four space-weary Brits convinced JFK to shoot himself from the grassy knoll after their expedition to find Curry went awry. This guy knows how to type conspiracies. Big citrus have been selling unripe lemon as limes for twice the price of ripe lemons for years. Kurt Cobain was murdered. I think many celebrities get murdered when their handlers realize they are reaching the point of being less profitable alive and could be more profitable dead. Man I posted this on an almost identical ask reddit maybe a month or so ago. People refused to think that was even a possibility. It's like. The evidence that has been presented to me, really makes it seem like he was fucking murdered. Ever see that HBO documentary from the late 1990s? The guy that claimed Courtney had him killed, ended up killed. I could see him being murdered, and her being involved. She is trash, always has been. I think he probably wanted to clean up, and she didn't and now he's dead. OJ was framed, but he also did it. I have never heard about this. Do you mind to elaborate more please? People think his son did it and he took the rap for him, and honestly it kind of makes sense. Why would his son have done it? Wasn't there a call from Nicole saying OJ beat the shit out of her and she was afraid? That the aliens are among us. Amogus. Watching us from afar maybe, I wouldn't know how they would be here on Earth. If humans ever travel to an alien civilization in the future I'd assume we'd be too goofy and clumsy to try and hide on the alien planet without being detected. More than that, why would they want to? To a civilization advanced enough for interstellar space travel, we are self-destructive cavemen at best. Do you know what technologically more advanced humans did when they traveled to foreign cultures of savages? They did not hide among them. That the fashion industry purposefully doesn't put pockets in women's clothing so they have to carry purses. I always wonder what is stopping someone from creating a line of well-made, stylish jeans that have spacious pockets for women. You would think they would absolutely bank. Yeah and then the purse mafia rolls up and puts the kibosh on it. This, combined with the fact that women used to carry weapons in their pockets, making pockets into a symbol of revolutionaries. Style Theory did this as one of, if not their very first video. Whatever the fuck happened in 1971, was possibly a conspiracy. I don't know about 1971, but a decade later, Reagan very deliberately caused something very similar and probably even worse when he gutted labor regulations and crippled unions. That new Coke was an intentional failure to mask the change from real cane sugar to corn syrup. Except new Coke came out in 1984, five years after Coke switched to corn syrup. So there is that. Slurm Classic. A lot of the UFO stuff is actually skunk work stuff. Remember, what you see as advanced tech, stealth, F-22, basic drones, is 20 to 30 years behind the actual cutting stuff. They had the stealth bomber 40 years ago. Think about that. Jeffrey Epstein didn't kill himself. My conspiracy theory is that they have PPL go onto social media and post this line so often to make people so completely and utterly annoyed by having read this fact yet again that they don't actually look deeper into it. Stevie Wonder can see that the original Michael Jackson died and was replaced with someone else. I just recently discovered the Stephen Hawking replacement conspiracy and it's disconcerting how convincing some of it is. He was replaced with Paul McCartney. Dade C. Luap. Vaping is just the new coke of big tobacco. By the 2000s-2010s, at least from my perspective being an impressionable youth during that time, 
Anti-smoking campaigns were incredibly effective, the idea that smoking was cool was more or less squashed, then vaping was introduced and everyone jumped on that, and obviously it came with a ton of stigmas but was wildly popular. Almost everyone I went to college with had a jewel, and I'd say over half of my co-workers have some sort of vape. But here's the thing, I have a sister who's in college now, and is basically saying that people are turning back to cigarettes, essentially because it's a cooler, more nostalgic, more mature alternative to vaping. And I'm starting to notice it picking up on social media as well. It's still pretty early to say but I feel like cigarette smoking is about to make a huge comeback, and this was all just a long game that big tobacco played to bring themselves back to life.